now that we got the cameras installed and the NVR connected and working, I'm going to show you how to download and install the OSI Go Mobile app on your smartphone and then give you a quick overview of how to use it. The first step you need to do is install the OSI Go Mobile app on your smartphone. I'm just going to open the smartphone here. Now the app is available for both Android and iOS. I have an Android, so I'm going to open the Google Play Store. Now in the App Store, do a search for OSI Go Mobile. Here you can see the app at the top, so let's select that. Then select Install. It's pending. Installing. And now it's done. Select Open. A pop-up says, allow OSI Go Mobile to access photos, media, and files on device. Now, in order to save screen captures and video clips, the app will need to access your smartphone. So select Allow. Then another pop-up says, allow OSI Go Mobile to make and manage phone calls. For now, we recommend selecting Deny. This would be used for an advanced feature, which I'll go through in another video. So let's select Deny. And that's it. Installation is now complete. Now, please note, although the manual says that you need to register and create an account first, you actually don't need to do this. So you can skip this step entirely and proceed to the next step, which is adding a device. After you've installed the app, you'll realize right away that your live feed from all four cameras are not showing. This is because you need to connect your app to the NVR system. So let's do that right now. First, select the menu icon on the top left corner of the screen, which looks like a box with three lines on it. Then select device. Then select the red plus icon on the bottom left corner. Select add device. Select the bottom menu item that says IP slash DDNS slash SN. Select SN, which stands for serial number. Now, under serial number, you're going to enter the serial number of your NVR, which is located on a sticker underneath your NVR. You can also click on the red QR scan logo on the top right here, and then scan the QR code on the same sticker under the NVR, which will automatically fill out your serial number for you. Then enter device name. The device name can be found on the configure page in your NVR settings. If you did not change it during the initial setup, then the default device name given is Wi-Fi NVR. This is case sensitive and do not forget to add a space after Wi-Fi. Then enter account. This is the same thing as your username, which you use to log into your NVR. If you did not change the username during initial setup, then the default username is admin in all lowercase. Then enter your password. Again, this is also the same password you use to log into your NVR. Both the username and password are located under the user tab within the configure page of your NVR. Now you can select save. And on this page, it now shows you all the devices connected. So if you select local device, you will see that the NVR and four cameras are now connected. Now that we know everything's connected, let's select the back button on the top left corner. You'll notice that the live feed is still not showing. So the last thing we need to do is enable the NVR and the cameras. To do this, all you need to do is tap one of the four screens. This page looks very similar to the last page we were on, except now there's a checkbox. So select the checkbox and when you do, it will automatically select the camera checkboxes as well. Then select done. And now you can see the live feed from all four cameras. If you change the username or password on the NVR, you'll need to update this on the app in order for the system to remain connected. So to quickly do this, just select the dual camera icon on the top right corner of the screen, then select local device, and then select the three dots on the right, update the information on this page, and select save. Now take note that every time you update the account info on the app or even click on the save button, you will need to enable the system again. So again, tap on one of the video screens, select local device, select the checkbox, and then select done. And now you can see the live video feed again. Next, I'm gonna quickly show you how to navigate this real time section. And then afterwards, I'll go through the playback section as well. As you can see at the top, the real time tab is selected by default when you load the app. Real time means you're seeing the live video feed from your cameras. To view one of the cameras full screen, just double tap one of the cameras. Now the camera is full screen. 
Just double tap the screen to go back to the four camera split screen view. Okay, now let's double tap again and go into full screen one more time. If you wanna get a better view, just turn your smartphone sideways to go into full screen mode. You could also view the live feed from the other cameras by swiping the screen from right to left. If you want to zoom up on a specific area, just pinch and zoom. Then using your finger, slide to the desired subject. To quickly zoom out, just simply double tap the window. If you want to record a video clip, just tap the screen once and you'll see a quick menu appear at the bottom of the screen. Then tap the first icon which looks like a pink video camera. You know when it's recording when the video camera lights up fully pink. To stop recording, just tap the video camera icon again. If you want to take a screen capture, just tap the orange image icon and you will see a message that says capture success. Now let's turn the camera vertically again so we could see more menu options. As you can see, the video and screen capture menu icons are also at the bottom of the screen. Please note, the PTZ icon is not applicable to this kit. In order to access the video and screen captures that you've taken, just select the playback tab at the top. Then underneath the four camera preview screens, you will see a folder icon. Just tap on that. Here you will see all the screen captures and video clips that you've taken. The images with the arrows in the middle are your video captures, and the one without the arrows are obviously your screen captures. Then tap the image or video you want to view. These are easily accessible through your smartphone's default camera storage folder. Okay, let's hit the back button so we're at the real time screen again. The icons at the bottom that look like multiple squares are just different split screen views that are mainly used for our multiple camera kits. So you really won't need to use these. This is all you need to know in the real time section. Now I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the playback section. Now let's say your house was vandalized or something was stolen off your property and you wanted to find out who, when, and how this happened. Let's open the OSI Go mobile app again. Then select the playback tab on the top of the screen located directly under the OSI logo. What you'll notice is there's no video showing. Just as we had to enable the cameras on the real time section, we have to enable the cameras on the playback section. So double tap on any of the four screens, then select device, select the checkbox, and then select done. Now you can see all four video streams. Remember what you see here is pre-recorded video. The screen with the yellow border indicates the selected camera you are currently reviewing. At the bottom, you will see the 24 hour timeline for the specific camera that you selected. The red areas indicate the times that the camera recorded video when it detected motion. So if you select any of the other screens, you will notice the red areas on the 24 hour timeline changes to reflect each of the camera's different recording times. You can either review the video from here or double tap the screen to open and review the window in full screen. So let's view one of the cameras in full screen. Uh, we'll double tap camera two here. At the top left corner of the screen, you can see a icon that looks like a calendar. If you wanted to review a specific date, just click on the calendar icon and select the date in which you want to review. So let's select uh, June 2nd and press OK. And then again, you will see your 24 hour timeline at the bottom of the screen. And then at the top of the timeline, it shows you the date and time that you're currently reviewing. Then the yellow line in the middle with two arrows at each end indicates where in the day you are currently reviewing. To pick a specific time of day to review, use your finger and drag the entire timeline in either direction so that the specific time you're wanting to review aligns with the yellow arrows. To view that specific area in more detail, just pinch and zoom. Again, to take a screen capture, just tap on the image icon that says screenshot. Again, to save a video clip, just drag the timeline to the exact time you want to start recording. The video will autoplay immediately. So just select the video camera icon to start recording. Then tap on the video camera button again to stop recording. In order to access the video and screen captures that you've taken, select anywhere on the thumbnails below the preview screen. The images with the arrows in the middle are your video captures, and the one without the arrows are obviously your screen captures. Then tap the image or video you want to view. If you press the back button twice, you'll end up at the playback screen, and underneath the video preview, you will see a folder icon. So if you click on that, here you'll see another way of accessing your video and screen captures. 
these are also easily accessible through your smartphone's default camera storage folder. Well, that's it for the playback overview. You should now be familiar with how to use and navigate your way around the OSI Go Mobile app on your smartphone. Well, we hope this video helped you out. And if it did, please give us a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, just drop us a comment below. And if you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe. All the products that you see on our channel are available with free shipping at osigoldirect.com or amazon.com. Those links are provided in the description below. My name is Brandon Paris, and thank you for watching.